my little pot. Oh, fuck right. off. <laughs> I don't even get it. What? The Brass Beast is an unlockable primary weapon for the heavy, and is as sexy as it both looks and sounds. The weapon shoots at the same speed as the stock minigun, the same ammo capacity at 200, and all the same mechanics that are associated with each of the miniguns. The Brass Beast however, is more specialized in being a defensive minigun, best used when the enemy has to come to you, rather than you having to go to them. This is first established with the weapon's two extremely harsh downsides, the first of which, being an additional 60% speed penalty whilst the weapon is actively deployed. This extremely harsh movement penalty sends Heavy's already sluggish movement speed down to an outright fucking crawl. You are essentially 15% away from being as immobile as a fucking sentry at the speeds you'll be traveling at. This slow speed makes it essentially impossible to chase after opponents who are fleeing. Since the moment that weapon is deployed, unless you use a jump rev tech, you aren't beating anyone in any form of speed related encounter which will make the weapon significantly more difficult to use in offensive situations where you need to go to the enemy this is made even more difficult with the weapon's second penalty of a plus 50 percent longer deploy time this means that when you wish to engage in a fight against someone you have to spend over 1.3 seconds just priming the weapon which is a significantly longer period of time compared to stock 0.87 second spin up time and an eternity when compared to the thomas Love. Essentially, these two weaknesses together make the Brass Beast the weakest in terms of offensive miniguns, with its long rev time, and extremely slow movement whilst the weapon is in use, makes you essentially free pickings for snipers, and allows enemies to easily escape you. But, this is where its upsides come in, and make it an extremely powerful defensive primary. Firstly, the 20% damage bonus this weapon gets, is not to be treated lightly, being one of the few weapons in the entire game to get a direct damage increase. This makes Heavy's already monstrous levels of damage up close into an extremely efficient shredding machine. None of Heavy's other mini guns, or even most weapons in general can compete with the Brass Beast's insane damage output if it gets the chance to strike first, with a maximum potential of over 600 damage per second at point blank range. This damage increase alone already may sound enticing, but it's the secondary perk that also helps out. Being a flat 20% damage resistance when below half health, and whilst the weapon is revved, this makes Heavy extremely durable during combat, and if a medic happens to be supplying him with healing, it's going to take a lot of firepower to take down this behemoth of a man. So, with all this being said, when is it an optimal time to pull out the Brass Beast? Well, with its strengths and weaknesses, the Brass Beast struggles immensely on offense, since its weaknesses here far outweigh its strengths when in offense situations. Defense is where the weapon can truly shine, since you won't have to move about as much, so you will spend more time revved, so you only have to worry about the long priming time when you go to reposition. Additionally, the 20% damage buff and damage resistance when below half health make you great at locking down areas and tanking a ton of damage, especially when paired with a pocket medic or if you are using the Dalekus bar. Positioning with this weapon is also critical in maximizing your potential. Not only is it wise to consider what sightlines are best to cover, but also where your engineer's dispensers may be, for if a dispenser happens to be near a sightline of interest, you can very easily keep it under lockdown with its supply of ammo and healing. So to summarize, the Brass Beast is best utilized in defensive situations where enemies have to come to you due to its immense speed and deploy time penalties, and can lock down areas easily with its 20% damage buff and additional damage resistance when below half health. Be sure to come back for the next episode next week. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.